a young family ready for a fun lunch outing, attended a rotating restaurant. Together, they were supposed to get a good meal and a view of the city. Instead, negligent practices led to a safety hazard that proved fatal. This is the story of the Atlanta revolving restaurant tragedy. Charlie Holt was at the Westin Hotel restaurant with his family Easter weekend in 2017. Initial reports claimed he wandered away from his family, but both sides agree that was not the case. You may have heard of a revolving bar at a restaurant, but in recent years, the full rotating restaurant has become a novelty dining experience. Typically resting atop a large building or sky tower, they sit on a circular platform that serves as a turntable. The building itself remains stationary as the floor moves between one and three rotations per hour. Rotating around 723 feet or 220 meters above Atlanta, the Sundial Restaurant and Bar has long been a fixture of the city skyline. Built in 1976 by world-renowned architect John Portman, the Sundial Restaurant and Bar sits atop the Western Peachtree Plaza, a 73-storey cylindrical building consisting of 1,073 hotel rooms, a giant lobby, and what was once the most famous restaurant in the city. With its unique position and well-revered menu, tourists come from afar to grab a bite and gaze at the city. However, after a deadly accident and a controversial lawsuit later, the restaurant is under fire. On the 14th of April 2017, a young North Carolina family, the Holtz, were on holiday in Atlanta. Your typical American family, they consisted of four members, parents Michael and Rebecca, their five-year-old son Charlie, and his two-year-old sister. Wanting the full experience from their time in Atlanta, they booked a meal at the city's most popular eating spot, the Sundial Revolving Restaurant. While the food that day was good, and the views were even better, it wasn't until they were leaving that things turned for the worse. Having paid for their meal and about to exit the restaurant, chaos ensued when the cries of five-year-old Charlie Holt could be heard. Realising their son was no longer nearby, Michael turned to see his son's head trapped between a stationary booth and a wall on the moving side of the platform. The gap big enough for a child, but getting smaller by the second, was slowly squeezing the boy's head. Michael Holt, several bystanders, and the wait staff attempted to free Charlie from what was later described as a pinch point by breaking a heavy wooden booth. According to a lawsuit that was later filed, Michael Holt, the boy's father, literally tore the booth apart with his hands but could not free Charlie. The ordeal ended when a waiter finally found the switch to stop the restaurant's rotation. However, Charlie had suffered serious injuries. He was rushed to Grady Memorial Hospital, where he later died of his injuries. In the aftermath of the tragedy, vicious rumours circulated on social media, and early police reports blamed the Holtz for the accident, suggesting they let Charlie wander off unattended. In response to those rumours, the Holtz claimed Marriott, the hotel and parent company of the restaurant that took Charlie's life, did nothing to dampen those rumours. However, after a full investigation, those rumours were deemed not true. In late 2017, the Holtz filed a lawsuit against the Sundial, its owners, architects, contractors, interior decorators and staff. The suit alleges that the restaurant, hotel and employees were negligent as they failed to address a long-standing safety hazard leading to Charlie's death. It also states there were no protections to stop kids getting trapped in the pinch point and no emergency stop mechanism to stop the rotation quickly during an emergency. In 2021, the Holt family and the Marriott, parent company to the Sundial Revolving Restaurant, came to a settlement. As a result of the settlement, both the family and the Marriott released a joint statement which stated, Everyone did everything they could during the emergency situation. Unfortunately, Charlie suffered a serious brain injury and later died as a result of those injuries. 
the parties have agreed to resolve this matter and avoid further litigation. The terms of the settlement are strictly confidential. The Holtz ensured Charlie could live on as an organ donor. They also started Charlie's Heart Foundation with the ultimate goal of keeping families together. In 2019, celebrity Justin Timberlake met with the Holtz to show his support for the foundation. As it stands today, the Sundial restaurant and bar is still open, but no longer rotates.